continues to swirl around Josh Powell as he remains the only person of interest and Susan's family continues to hope for her safe return. Susan's father, Charles Cox, is with us from Seattle, Washington, along with family friend Mike Gifford. Um, Charles, I'm going to begin with you. I know this is such a difficult time at the holidays. My heart goes out to you, as I know our viewers are also so concerned. You celebrated Christmas with your two grandsons, the two little boys, uh, Charlie and Braden. How are they doing? Well, we, we were able to see them uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Uh, and we had a, a good time with him. It was great to be able to, to give him a hug and, and, and just hold them for a while. Uh, they, they enjoyed the presents. They were little boys. Yeah, I have a three-year-old at home, so I know they, they get excited about the presents, but I know they must miss their mom, too. It's a very difficult time for you and your family, and I know you want your daughter home safe. Uh, where do you think your daughter is? I have no idea. Uh, that's, that's, that's why we're doing all the interviews. We want to get her picture out there. Somebody out there hopefully has seen something or noticed her somewhere, and, and we'll get a tip that will lead to her, her discovery and return. Charles, there's a lot of information, sources, people coming out now saying that your daughter was unhappy in her marriage. She had gone to marriage counseling that there were problems between your daughter and uh, Josh. Did she ever tell you that she was afraid of him or they were having these kind of problems? I knew they'd gone to counseling. Uh, I don't recall, I, ha I have no knowledge of anything where she was afraid of him or, or anything. But is it like your daughter to not contact anyone or not call in sick to work? It just seems very unusual and suspicious circumstances. That coupled with the fans on an area in the home when the police went over there. She she would not uh, she would not be signed if she could contact us. I know she would have contacted us, and I know she wouldn't left her her boys alone. It, it's, it's, it is mysterious, and I, it causes me great concern. What are you feeling tonight with knowing the fact that Josh is the only person of interest in this case? Well, I'm, I'm glad that, that Josh has retained counsel and attorney, and I, I'm hoping that Josh and his attorney will, will come forward with any information he has so we can get on with finding my daughter. Do you feel comfortable with your two grandsons being with Josh? I don't, I don't know what to think about that. I, 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 it's just great to see them over the, the holidays. It was great to have a chance to, to see them. Okay. Mike, what do you think? As far as just the tone of how things are going? Yes. Well, I think in any criminal investigation or any kind of investigation, even a missing persons thing, uh, investigation, the police start off like a large net they keep an open mind they throw the net out there to see what they can gather and they let the evidence and the facts guide the direction of their investigation or their search for someone and that's what the police have been doing it at this time They've but mike right now the, the, evidence. the net mm -hmm. is around josh powell susan's husband that's where the investigation the facts and the evidence have directed them well, I think it's not so much the facts and the evidence. I think what has directed him to Josh at this point is now that Josh has legal counsel, he has someone to help represent him, it would be the hopes and the desires of the police department that, they, that he would come in there with his counsel and give them as much information that he possibly answer could the questions. to clear up anything. Right. And, 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 I agree. Yeah, answer questions. That's reasonable. So, Gentlemen, we're going to have to leave it right there. I wish we had more time. And Chuck, I want to thank you so much for joining us, and we wish the best for you in the search for your daughter. And Mike, thank you for joining us as well. And up thank next. You.